Hey guys, it's Carnage6 back again with another review. And here we have the newest series of the Banpresto Sculptures figures. We've got Kid Goku on the left and Lunch on the right. Now normally I don't do reviews of these statue figures because, I don't know, I can't think of a lot of things to say about them. I mean, they don't have articulation and, you know, you can't put them in different poses. You're just kind of stuck that way. But, I don't know, I'm going to try. A couple people have suggested that I review the HQDX line, which was the same thing. So I'm going to give it a try and I'm going to review these. If you guys like it, I'll do more. And if not, well, I'll stick them in my collection updates where they've normally been. So let's stop talking and let's take a look at these things. And first off we have the Kid Goku figure box. And here's the back of the box. I assume the picture in the upper left corner is of the guy who sculpted it. Now here's the box for the lunch figure. And again on the back we can see who I assume is the sculptor of the lunch figure. So now let's take him out. Alright, so let's first start off by talking about the Kid Goku figure. Now I really love the sculpting on this figure. I really love the pose that he's in. I like the fact, as you can see here, this, this stand is made to make him look like he's jumping. As you can tell. The only problem I had, I guess, was uh, this part was kind of hard to put in. And I kind of get scared that it's going to want to fall over. A lot of the time because it's not really secure here and here too well but hopefully that won't be a problem so yeah I couldn't really ask for a better Kid Goku figure the pose that he's in is amazing they really took time with all the little details uh, maybe I'll show you if I can get it close to the camera with it hopefully focusing maybe not as you can see like there's little details like if you can tell how they sculpted the mouth, like just the mouth alone. It like goes, uh, maybe I'll pull this back out a bit. It goes like really deep in there how, how much it's sculpted. Can you see that? Like, wow, that's just, I mean, I'm guessing like the tongue and stuff is all sculpted in there. That's pretty amazing. I don't know how they did that, but definitely I love that. And if we come around to the back, you can see he's got his, uh, pole carrier there. The tail is sculpted really well. Even the soles of his shoes are sculpted on there. I mean, it's just an amazing figure. Now, I guess if I do have one complaint besides the um, weak joint here, it's the fact that he's these sculptures figures are getting smaller and smaller all the time. I mean, I know he's Kid Goku, but uh, I mean, when I get to my lunch figure, you'll be able to tell more. He's it's really small, and these, these sculptures, like the HQDX line, some of them are like, you know, way bigger than this guy, like double the size of this guy at least. And it seems to me that they're just getting a little bit more skimpier on how big they make these things, so that's my one complaint. But for Kid Goku, I mean, just the look of him is amazing, and I highly recommend it on that fact alone. And next up here we have the lunch figure. As you can tell from the little Dragon Ball title on the front, this kind of lines up with the Goku figure. But the Goku figure is way too big to uh, be standing next to this figure. As the, Again, I've said this, these new sculpture figures, they've shrunk them down even more. I mean, they look great on their own, but when you stand them all together, it doesn't look that great. But anyway, let's talk about the good parts. I really love this figure. We do not get many lunch figures and with this sculptures line that Ben Presto is doing they finally seem to be doing uh, obscure figures that we hardly ever get. Ox King and uh, General Tao and Lunch here. So I love them for that. They just gotta quit being so damn cheap and uh, make them a little bit bigger. 
So now one of the things I really love about this figure is, I mean, just look at the detail. Uh, the face sculpt and everything is pretty amazing. I love the gun there. And, like, look at the tiny little details. Like, you can see that she's uh, driving away after stealing a bunch of money. And you can see, like, the, the little dollar bill is, like, attached onto this, making it look like it's flying out of the her um, satchel here. That's pretty cool. Um, the little light here is um, clear plastic, which is an amazing touch. Yeah, it's all the little details that really um, impress me the most about this figure. And as I said before, we don't get too many lunch figures these days, so pretty much anything is cool. But for looks alone, this figure is amazing. Alright, so that's about it for my review. I mean, I'm sorry it's a bit short. Like I said, I can't really think of too many things to say about these guys. I mean, they're statues. They either look cool or they don't. That's about it. I think these two look cool. I just have a couple of complaints. One is the small size. Now, maybe I can back out a little bit here. And, sh whoops, back out and show you what I mean by the fact that they don't fit in with the rest of the sculptures figures. Now here's the Goku figure. Look at look at how tall he is compared to them. Like, how does that fit in at all? I don't even know. So that's one thing I wish they would change about this line, and that's the um, scale. It would be nice if they were all in scale with each other. But uh, since they aren't, you just have to go by whether it looks cool or not. And these look cool. So, yeah, I just have kind of an issue about paying so much for so small figures um, like these are like 30 bucks maybe more depending on who you buy them from and for that I kind of expect a bit more but if you like the characters and I mean who doesn't want another lunch figure we never get lunch figures anymore so I'm really happy for that I'm glad they made her so all in all, I say go and buy them, but don't knock yourself out trying to get them. If you like the figure, if you like the sculpt, if you like the pose, go out, grab it, have fun. But don't expect to be getting a good deal, because they definitely are not. Anyway guys, um, I hope you like this review. Just let me know if you still want me to continue doing reviews on statues, because as I said, said before I can't really think of too much to say about them uh, so if you want me to do more reviews on statues let me know and if not I'll just stick them in my collection updates like I normally do so that's all for now and I'll see ya